folks, Bob here at the Cooking and Kayaking Channel. Um, today we are on the Orange River. Um, there's other, there's tons of places you can actually pick the Orange River up at, but I pulled into the Manatee Park, um, which the Manatee Park is actually pretty neat. If you're down here in the winter in Fort Myers, this park acts almost as a, as a sanctuary or a haven for um, manatees that are out in the Gulf or in some of the tributaries there that when the water gets cold, they come this direction. So what happens is, is there is a plant, a electric plant that's on the other side of uh, the river, or I'm sorry, on the other side of the road, which filters water down through uh, their generators to cool the generators off, which then warms the water up to a constant like 87 or 88 degrees year round. So when the water does dip down into the 60s, uh, upper 70s or low 70s, the manatees wanna stay warm, they're warm blooded creatures. So they all, come this direction typically you'll start seeing more manatees in this area usually late december january february and early march um until the waters start warming up in the gulf and then they start going back out so so today i'm not expecting to see any manatees um may see a gator or two kind of see how that goes there are gators on the river um other than that our goal today I'm gonna head down the Orange River. I'm gonna go out to the Caloosahatchee. There are a few small islands out there I wanted to circle and check out. Um, and we'll do a small, uh, easy, easy, small breakfast. And um, yeah. made it out to the um, Calusa Nature Preserve, which is a fairly large island in the middle of the Caloosahatchee. So, there was a uh, small area, small sand bank, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, see about doing some, some breakfast here, and uh, then we'll get back on the water and, and head back up to the, uh, head back up the, uh, the river. Very cool. Only thing is, is the background. I don't know if you can see behind me, Route 75 is behind me. So it is a little louder than I typically like to, to have out when I'm doing these things, but uh, nonetheless, it's not a bad little area, so.
I'm actually not doing a tea today. Um, I've got some, like a sun-kissed powder mix uh, that my, my mom had sent down to me. <clears throat> so it's actually pretty good. I use it for camping all the time. It gives electric lights and things like that. So um, what I'm gonna do is the water that I'm boiling is actually for a dehydrated meal that I have had maybe a year. It's been sitting in my garage. I forgot I had it. So here it is here. Uh, it's a breakfast skillet. It says it has shredded potatoes, scrambled eggs mixed with pork sausage, peppers and onions, and freeze dried. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a whirl. Uh, super simple recipe or super simple instructions. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, see how this goes. So open package, tear notch, remove and discard oxygen absorber, carefully pour in hot water, stir carefully, stir carefully, close zipper. Is there a zipper? Hmm. Uh, wait five minutes, stir again and reseal. Let stand for an additional four minutes. So, yeah. Just gotta get this thing to boil and um, we'll have breakfast. All right, let's go ahead and tear this open. Looks like there actually is a Type of a Ziploc thing in there. So that's kind of neat. So this way we can dump the water in. That's what it looks like before. All feet, you know, just dried and hmm. cool. Good. Careful with the hot water. Good. And they said to zip lock it and let her sit.
Now I'm going to cheat a little bit. Hey Siri, put five minutes on a timer. Five minutes, starting now. All right, let's go ahead and open her up. Smells good. Other than being a little, a little liquidy from the water, it does not look bad. It's actually really good. It is a good alternative to not, like this way, it's everything in one bowl or everything in one bag. Let's put some water in it, bring it back up to temperature. Um, it's good. I mean, it's good enough that, you know, I could see taking these camping if it's like, you know, I don't want to deal with all the extra cooking and everything else and you just want to be limited. Totally makes sense. If memory serves, I think I got these at Walmart. I don't know, like I said, last year. All right, guys, that's me all packed up. I am going to start heading back. It's going to take about maybe an hour, hour and a half to paddle back upstream. And um, yeah, so. All right, guys, like I always say, smash that like button, throw me a comment or two, and, uh, you know, I always appreciate you.